You are going to see my entire lower body session, which is hamstring focus in this video. Each exercise that I perform, I will share with you one to two tips that can help you when you do these exercises in your training. So starting off with the barbell RDLs, this is such an amazing exercise to build the posterior chain, which is essentially all the muscles on your back from head to toe. And here you could see that I have set up racks on either side so that the lift off is easy. And the tip here is that as you perform the exercise, you want to make sure that you are engaging your lats first before you push your hips out, keeping the barbell close to your body and ensuring that your neck is in line with your spine. Often what I see is that people will look up and that will cause an arch. So keeping neutral spine from head to hips. The next exercise is a single leg RDL. This is an amazing exercise to really isolate and target that single hamstring and glutes. I am holding onto the bench to give me the support, but we really want to focus on that isolation at the single hamstring and glutes. The tip here is to ensure that your hips are always facing forward. It is so easy and very common for people to open up their hips as they hip hinge back. Keeping your hips facing forward, your core engaged, and your lats so that your shoulders do not come forward. Same as the RDLs, we want to keep the dumbbell as close to your body as possible, targeting the glutes and hamstrings. And keeping in mind, most importantly, that the focus is on the standing leg and pushing through that heel to hip hinge forward. The third exercise is a seated leg curl. Firstly, you want to ensure that you are adjusted properly so that you are seated comfortably and are in a fixed position, especially from your hips to your knees. That allows you to flex at the knees, as you could see. I'm leaning a little bit forward to have a greater stretch of the hamstrings. The tip here is that you do not need to go too heavy. You want to be sure that you are seated snug in the hamstring, the seated hamstring. And as you come down, you really want to focus on a strong mind to muscle as you push, as you flex at the knees in. Same thing, keeping the core tight. And again, you want to have your knees and your hips fixed in that position. And all you are doing is flexing at the knees. The next exercise is a reverse hack squat. So with this exercise, it is targeting the glutes and hamstrings in the lengthened position, very similar to the RDL. Here, we do not need to go too heavy and making sure we are practicing the exact same form where your neck is in line with your spine all the way from head to your hips as you hip hinge back. You do not need to go too heavy and really focus on the strong mind to muscle at the hamstrings and glutes, keeping your knees soft as you hip hinge forward. The, the final exercise is the 90 degree hip extension. And the tip here is that you want to set up so that the pad is on your hips. That way, as you come up, you are hip hinging up and you are pushing into the pad to squeeze at the glutes. I and most importantly, you want to keep your ribs tucked in to avoid hyperextending at the back. I hope that you enjoyed the voiceovers for the lower body session. They're just quick, simple tips that I wanted to share with you to help you that you could implement into your own training. And often, you know, having these tips can um, help you make some small refinements, um, tweak a little bit and connect your mind to your muscle, which can make a huge difference to, difference to your progress. If there was any other questions, please do let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to do a future video for you. So ultimately, I want to get women into the gym and doing some form of strength training, not just to build their physique, but also for their mental well-being and physical well-being. So let me know what kind of videos that you like to see. If you like to see more of these where I just give quick
quick simple tips then please do let me know otherwise i just want to let you know that your mind is a powerful asset and that you could achieve anything that you put your mind to and i will see you in the next one